Remove the crate box from the robotic arm and the stand. Unzip the robotic arm cover. Take out the front part of the case, but do not move it far away. Unzip the stand cover. Take out the accessories and cables from the case that are needed for setup. Remove the back cover of the stand. Inside, you will find the control unit, ensure that the voltage matches the electricity in your country, and place the unit back into the stand. Position your robotic arm on the stand. The connectors should be facing the back cover of the stand. Make sure to tighten the securing bolts. Connect the cables to the robotic arm. Connect the other ends of the wires to the control unit. Connect the e-stop button into the appropriate socket. Connect the power cord. Turn on the power switch. Press the power button. The indicator on the robotic arm will light up yellow, indicating that it is ready for calibration. Now you need to calibrate the booth. For this, press the homing button. The robotic arm will start moving and calibrating the motor positions. While calibration is underway, the arm indicator will light up green. Once the robotic arm lights up blue, it means that it has been calibrated and is ready for use. Close the back cover of the stand and tighten the bolts. Take the appropriate mounting bracket and screwdriver set from the kit. For your convenience, there is a marker in the form of a round hole. Just align it with the holder and tighten the bolts. The robotic arm is ready to use, now you can launch the scene from the app. In case of an emergency, use the e-stop button. The robotic arm will stop immediately, and the indicator will start flashing red. Turn the button to return it to the initial position. The booth indicator will stop flashing and will light up yellow. Press the homing button. The robotic arm will start calibration again and return to its original position. To turn off the booth, press and hold the power button for about 2 seconds. The robotic arm will return to the same original position and motor power will be turned off. Turn the switch down, unplug the power cord and disconnect the e-stop button.